Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey. Mario. Mario. Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey. One of my favourites. So much joy, so much fun, so much to discover. It's hands down the most joyful experience I've ever had with a game, not just this year. Um, my favourite 3D Mario to date, and that's saying something because some of the Galaxy games were just, again, in my top 10 of all time. One of the best games of the year, one of the best games I've ever played. Absolutely brilliant Mario game, full of surprises throughout. Um, incredible level design, incredible gameplay. Had a lot of fun playing that with my children. Um, easily, easily a top three candidate. You know, the portability of the Switch, being able to take it on trains and, and sort of share that joy and that fun with other family members and stuff as well is just, yeah, it's, I, I, for me, it was definitely the game of the year uh, and probably one of my favourite games of all time. Zelda Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Zelda, absolutely brilliant game, probably spent 100 plus, maybe close to 200 hours on the Switch, which I didn't think I would really do in all fairness, but it seems to be suiting my the time that I've got to put towards gaming at the minute. The vast landscapes are fantastic. And then it's just the mechanics. I mean, I'm not a completist, but I couldn't wait to get all 120 um, shrines and difficult to put down. Love it. Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn. An amazing open world. The tech on show is just mind blowing. So far, about 10 or 15 hours in, and the world is just amazing. Uh, so much fun, so many things to do in it, it's great. And then the combat, the combat over delivered in all areas. It's fast, it's um, frenetic, it's, it's super rewarding and challenging as well. Um, loved it to pieces. Visual, it's, it's, it's stunning. And I think the, um, this kind of mix of kind of going back to an old kind of tribal world, but with all this kind of cool robotic technology is, is just, for me, really, really hits a tone. I think it's fantastic. It's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. Um, best version of Mario Kart to date. Absolutely fantastic on Switch, great party game, great fun with the family, um, classic, brilliant gameplay. Supart VR. Supart is a brilliant game. Supart VR just takes it to a whole nother level. Dirt 4. The rally cross is just amazing. Sonic Mania. Absolutely fantastic game. Everything that I loved about Sonic. Life is strange before the storm. I love uh, everything about that world and that environment and the characters. Um, it's a deeply immersive experience. Mario Rabbids. It was the first game got on the Switch and Still playing it now, mopping up all the battles. I just think it's brilliant. Battlefront 2, because it reminded me of the old Dark Forces game. PUBG on Xbox One. I've been desperate to play on uh, PUBG for a long time. Uh, I sort of filled that gap with Fortnite a bit. Um, but so being able to actually physically get my hands on PUBG was, uh, was, was quite special. Skyrim, it's probably my favourite ever world to live in. So the fact that you can have it on a train and ignore all the people around you as well where you're traveling to run corners, it's fantastic. Everybody's golf. I've loved the franchise for years and I think it's perfect pick up and play gaming, which again, I'm kind of moving more into that 20 minutes at a time, half an hour at a time. Um, and I'm a golf fan. Is this one particular game? <coughs> Rush. I could and probably should say on Rush. But you know, that's, that's a cop-out answer. Of course I'm gonna say that. So we'll just put On Rush down as red for a, a game to look forward to for 2018. I mean, I'm playing it every day, I've got to say, and I, I do love it. So uh, that would definitely be top tier, but let's just give everybody else a chance as well. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead. Red Dead. I mean, I don't think I really need to explain that one. Most people are really excited about it. It's another Rockstar game. It's another Red Dead game. Um, I mean, what's, what's not to be excited about? I, I absolutely love the last game and this, I mean, I love Rockstar games, so yeah, I'm so looking forward to that. I don't think there's a person on the planet who's not looking forward to Red Dead. Anthem. 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 A few of the lads all play Destiny, so we're looking for that sort of big open world adventure type game. It looks very open world. It looks like there's lots to do again in the same vein as of, of Zelda and, and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn in that respect. You saw the trailer, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, absolutely blown away with what they showed at E3. Visually, absolutely stunning and looks like there's so much to do. Looks like a really big game. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing that. Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. It's my favourite game of all time, so uh, massively up for that. Uh, the remake it's getting in PlayStation 4 just looks absolutely stunning. It's one of those games I just can't wait to go back and, and relive and replay um, because I, I, I remember that being one of the most impressive gaming moments I've ever had. So getting the chance to do that again is just brilliant. 
God of War. God of War. It's a franchise that I followed for well since the start, um, even on, on PSP, etc. So I, I think um, for me, yeah. Although it's a bit button bashy, um, it's it's got. You, you know, I can't wait to get involved and find out what's going on. It seems to have a deeper storyline than some of the others. It looks stunning. I know it's a new take on God of War. That's kind of the reason why I, I, I want to play it. It's also got its son in it as well, and that is such a cool hook. Spider-Man. Everything I've seen of it just looks uh, stunning. So that's, that's definitely one I've got my eye on. Bayonetta 3, massive fan of the series. Love the, the overall style, contact, and uh, general playfulness of the whole thing. The Last of Us 2, I loved the first one. I think as a narrative, it was just brilliant. Kept me engaged all the way through. Sea of Thieves, you need to work together with other people, but I think if I can get a bunch of friends to play it, or even just my brother, um, it's going to be a, a really good experience. Concrete Genie, absolutely stunning. Uh, brilliant art style, fantastic looking little game. Can't wait to get my hands on that next year. Far Cry 5, love the Far Cry games. Um, being able to play this one through co-op looks really good, looks really fun, like the, the setting of it. Metro Exodus, I really like the kind of open world, post-apocalyptic kind of setting, a very kind of Fallout-esque I suppose in a lot of ways. Detroit, again I love a good narrative game and I think this looks like, yeah, it might deal with some controversial subjects. Dreams, I love everything Media Molecule Touch, they're so creative, um, so interesting, so exciting, so different to everything else. FIFA. I look forward to FIFA every single year. I think this year might be the year that we get Leeds United back in the Premier League. Um, so I'm hoping to take them to the Champions League final and do, do amazing things for them. Soul Calibur, massive fan of the series. Kind of lost its way a little bit in the middle, hoping that the sixth version is actually back to the good old early days. Wolfenstein 2 on the Switch. I'm really looking forward to picking up Wolfenstein and, and playing through an immersive Bethesda story um, on, the, on the go. Merry Christmas from everyone from Coalbusters. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a fantastic Christmas and all the best for 2018. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks to everyone for following us. Um, stick with us for more updates on Rush next year. Uh, but Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Scrum time. Yeah. Oh. Same time every day. Oh. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I want to say uh, Merry. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Rushy up as well. I'm certainly, the, in my opinion, the best Sonic, uh, Sonic game. <laughs> I said Sonic. <laughs> <laughs>